Our next story is about Mohammed bin Salman, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia. He is set to visit Pakistan. What is this visit all about? Let's find out. First things first, when will he be visiting Pakistan? On the 21st of November. Reports say Prince Salman's special security detail will arrive in Islamabad by this weekend and review the security arrangements for final approval. Next question, why is he visiting Pakistan? Why else but to make investments and grant financial aid? Reports say the Crown Prince could likely announce a $4.2 billion aid package for Pakistan. This is in addition to the various bailout packages Riyadh has granted to Islamabad in the last two years. The latest bailout package would also include additional reserves worth $3 billion. And what sort of investments will he be making? To start with, he could announce wide-ranging MOUs worth at least $10 billion. What will these MOUs cover? Mostly petroleum deals and development projects. Remember, for, for quite some time, there have been reports that Riyadh plans to establish an oil refinery in Pakistan. Where exactly? In the port city of Gwadar. According to reports, Gwadar could get a state-of-the-art deep conversion refinery along with a petrochemical complex. Analysts are calling it a potentially revolutionary step for Pakistan's economy and its dependence on the import of petroleum products. They expect this oil refinery to make Pakistan self-sufficient in the production of petrochemical products by 2028. Besides this, the Crown Prince could also announce investment for a $5 million motorway in Naushera, a $500 million agreement for the construction of King Salman Hospital in Islamabad, and an estimated $70 million science park at an engineering university in Karachi. The question is, what is Riyadh expecting in return? Is it expecting anything at all? Now, to be honest, there is nothing much Pakistan can give in return, besides, of course, sending cheap labor to the kingdom. So these investments are at best a goodwill gesture, a gesture of support to the Shehbaz Sharif government, which is facing tremendous challenges at home. That said, Shehbaz Sharif does know a thing or two about diplomacy, case in point, his government's stance on the Saudi-US diplomatic spat, a spat over Riyadh's refusal to ramp up oil supplies for the West. Pakistan made a surprising yet significant move and publicly backed Riyadh's position on this. This is what the country's foreign ministry said last month. I'm quoting, in the wake of statements made against the kingdom in the context of OPEC plus decision, Pakistan expresses solidarity with the leadership of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. This was last month. A month on, the Saudi Crown Prince is coming to Pakistan with money, a gesture of support for Pakistan's loyalty. And that said, the Crown Prince does not want to make a show of it, given the kind of political mess that Pakistan is in. The country's former Prime Minister is rallying his supporters on the streets, trying to force the government to hold elections. The supporters want Shehbaz Sharif to be dethroned. Given such circumstances, Saudi Arabia is trying to keep the details of the visit under wraps. In fact, reports say that the Saudi Crown Prince will not even stay the night during his visit. Remember, in all his previous visits to Pakistan, he has spent a day or two in Islamabad. This time, he reportedly may not. Observers say this signals the Crown Prince's unwillingness to associate himself with the current dispensation. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.